All right, welcome back. Welcome back. There's a lot to talk about uh, on the show. But let me quickly uh, introduce my guest to you. It will deal with me till uh, the end of the show. Uh, George S.L., it's good to have you uh, join us this morning. Uh, I think this is the first time I'm seeing you after um, you won uh, your award. Thank Just let me say congratulations you. and welcome all the same. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm humbled. Okay. Thank you. It's well uh, deserving. Well, thank you. I, I've, I've heard that, you know, uh, sometimes. And I feel that, look, um, all those who were nominated were also winners, you know, but it's just about consistency and then, you know, uh, staying true to the game, you know, keep talking sports. And, you know, uh, I, I think that um, I want to thank everyone, all thank right. the organizers and thank all those, the judges who voted. So right. it's, it's a very, I, I'm in cloud nine. I was actually in South Africa when you know, I couldn't attend the awards, <laughs> yeah, so I, I was like, very excited. So we celebrated in style in South Africa. All oh, right. And uh, the Super Eagles won, uh, you know. Qualified. Qualified. Icing on cake. Yeah, so <laughs> okay. it's great. All right, very good. Okay, so um, before we talk about the Super Falcons, let's talk about the proud son of Africa, Didier Drogba, finally calling time uh, on, on his career. I don't think there's anything else we can say about Didier. He's done it, seen it. And um, a lot of us even expected it earlier. Than yeah, this. yeah. But, you know, the staying power was just there for him, kept on playing, bought a club, playing for the club. I mean, did a lot. I mean, wh what can we? What else can we say about his career? I mean, nothing else, really. Um, he will always be an icon. You know, there was even um, some insinuations that he would come back again for a third spell. Mm -hmm. He has done two spells for Chelsea, mm -hmm. uh, which, is, which is great. He would have come back for a third spell because at the point, uh, there was, I think there was a game like... Uh, in the 2016-2017 season that fans started shouting, where's Drogba, where's Drogba? <laughs> you know, but hey, there was a Diego Costa at that time. Mm -hmm. uh, so he's done so well. In fact, the, the way he's uh, represented Africa, you know, he's, he's been a great ambassador for African football. Uh, that even when he gets to Cote d'Ivoire, the way he's received every time, it's even... Uh, more than the way they will receive the, the president of a country. Sometimes the president comes to the airport to receive him. Yeah. And not just because he was a Chelsea player, because he was, he was a passionate footballer. He, mm -hmm. you know, he, the game, he mastered the game. He knew how to connect with fans. He was just outstanding, no doubt. And he spent his last months, you know, playing for the, uh, his, uh, the team that he co-owns. Um, it'll be exciting to see if he's going to go into coaching. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, so we want to see, we want to see his that. next move. Yeah, his next move. I, I mean, he's he's a club owner, mm -hmm. you know, but let's the see you on a touchline. I just. I, I'm wondering. Yeah, team. I'm wondering who he would emulate. Okay. I think it might be M Mourinho, if <laughs> you know, on the touchline. Didier okay. Drogba, very passionate, great player. And mm -hmm. uh, thank you very much for all that his years. Yes. yes. Uh, all right. Uh, let's see some of his achievements. Um, uh, number of goals that Didier has uh, scored. I mean, j just just look at it. Uh, career titles, one UEFA Champions League, four Premier League titles, four FA Cups, three League Cup, one Super League, one Turkish Cup, uh, one Turkish Super Cup, and two, two times two African, times player, African yeah. player of the year. Would it be more as well? Could have been more, yeah. I, I know the one that escaped him that he probably would not be excited about is the um, Nations Cup. Yes. You yes. know, which... They had the golden generation then. They almost won. They got to the final. Very, but good thing, yeah, close. good thing that is okay, the next edition, you know, Cote d'Ivoire won mm -hmm. it. But that would have been the time. Uh, but he said, no, um, I have to just quit the national team at that point. So, uh, But besides that, I, I think he's, he's done so well in football. Come on. You, you can't take anything away from him. Um, he's there, the top goal scorers, not just in the Premier League, for Chelsea as well. Everywhere is split, actually. Yeah, everywhere, you know, so... Uh, he's, he's just been great. Right? It's been great. Uh, let's see if you can, before we leave the little matter of the day, Drogba, let's see if you can see uh, his goals uh, at Chelsea, at Marseille, at some of the places that um, he's played. Uh, let's see if we can quickly uh, do that for you. Uh, an, an amazing guy. He scores with both feet, with the head, and all that. Maybe we'll get to see that uh, later on uh, as we move on on the show. All right, let's leave the day drug by and talk about our own our girls they've always made us proud they had a blip in the first game but now they're back on track and i don't know about you hopefully. but hopefully well hopefully they're back on track a, a, a lot of people felt that um she just forget about the first game and that's i mean 
they can make us forget it with this kind of performance. Yes, um, they are level on points with the Zambians. Better goal advantage, uh, as it seems, you know. But the the last game is what the Falcons need to prove that they are really the champions. Going into this tournament, it was two teams in this tournament: mm -hmm. Nigeria and the rest. Others. That's how it always is. But right now, what we've seen is that we saw an overrated Nigeria that were right. humbled in their first game. We've seen a better prepared Cameroon. I'm looking at the two groups right now. Together. Who are right now the the only team like you know that are through to the second um, to the semifinals. Although it's still a possibility that the other teams, uh, you know, Ghana could still get a win. Mali. You know, we saw a Ghana team too that were concentrating more on hosting and they are on the brink of crashing out. You know, we've seen a Kosafa region that are more improved right now. Yes. Zambia, South Africa, mm -hmm. look at what they're bringing to the game. You know, and we've seen an Equatorial Guinean side that was not mentally prepared for this tournament. Yeah. And we're asking, why, why, did, why did you put them in? Kenya were ready for it. They could have given us a better show. Mm -hmm. And then you bring a team that gets trashed conceding 12 goals in two matches. You know, that's, that's just been my summary of the whole uh, Cup of Nations. So, so Nigeria needs to prove it. Um, the Super Falcons need to get out of that shell. Great stuff yesterday. I think, uh, you know, uh, with all the criticisms that are coming to Denevi, I think there's some things he did yesterday that I was excited about. Br bringing out Faith to Kitty when it looked like she was a weak link there. Mm -hmm. Bringing in, I think, was Chukune as well. The back line was more solid than the last time on Homeobi and, as and Osinachi were oh, very it? solid, you know, stopping the on. So the Zambians tried all they could, though, but that defense was okay. And then Francesco, they got broke the dog. But what I'm not excited about is that Osinachi Adoshola is still yet to find her form in this tournament. Maybe we should talk about Aziza. Um, I'm very sure our producer will help us out. She, she had some misses. Yeah. But some, some are saying in our defense, it's not enough. She's been very unselfish in this tournament, putting, bringing everybody in, in, into play. And a lot of people are saying, maybe if she does that, we should just relax. We'll see the goals later. Oh, on. really? Okay. You, you look maybe, at some, if, you, maybe if you're top nine, you know, your, your job is to score. Your job is to score. As you assist, make sure you also get... We saw glaring chances that she missed and threw away mm -hmm. in the first game yeah. as well. So, yeah, we decided to give her renewed hope, you know, and uh, the chances. faith right now. Look at it. Some of the chances. Your that... job is to get the goals down. So, I don't know. The assist is just a bonus. As it a is a nine, bonus. It, it's just go. Get the goals. Now, in the final game against Equatorial Guinea, it's, it's all about the goals. It's not about keeping a clean sheet or anything or, or holding up. Just we need win. to score Anyhow. and win. Anyhow. You know, and we need a sister to Shola to get goals. Francisco Odega, fine. You know, she knows how to put it in. Rashida Ajibade, I think that was her first international goal, which is, which is great. But, mm -hmm. hey, she was even stunned herself that she could do it when a sister couldn't do it. So we need an assistant to step up. Uh, we need Thomas Denebri right now to get a sister into that shape. I think it's, it's a job of the coach right now yeah. because we have the players. We saw it. We saw that there's some individual brilliance with some players. They need to play more as a team. As I said, needs to wake up and get those goals. We need to win against Equatorial Guinea. They have nothing to lose. They, they look like they are out of the tournament mm -hmm. right now. They are. But they could prove spo uh, spoilers for right. Nigeria. Okay, so we're hoping that uh, that won't be the case. But let's listen to Coach uh, Thomas Denneby, uh, what he had to say. Obviously very excited, but um, talking about his reaction after... Nigeria defeated Zambia. Yeah, well, first of all, I'm uh, very happy that we managed this game and uh, to score four goals is uh, of course very good. Uh, but honestly, uh, if there is something with the game I'm not 100% happy with, and it's that we should have probably scored a couple of goals, more goals. <clears throat> but um, uh, three days ago, when I was sitting here, we just lost the game. And uh, I talk about being professional, uh, use your experience, come back to the next game, don't be anxious, just work on home. And that is the same I would uh, tell the players in before next games now. 
uh, that uh, uh, don't think that this game we won today is uh, the final game in the group play. Now we have to work hard as hard as today or even harder next game so we can secure uh, uh, the game in the knockout stages in the semi final. So uh, we stay cool and just uh, work on But uh, of course, I'm happier uh, today than three days ago. <laughs> All right, house coach Thomas uh, Danaby. Let's also listen to the players too. The, you know their reactions after uh, the game. Let's listen to a couple of them. What they had to say. They will come back for more sports this morning. Yeah, this game is really important for we and the entire Nigeria. You can see the guests are happy. Everybody are happy. Um, we can't say it all. Uh, the fact is that uh, we are always known to be the African champion and. Um, being defeated by South Africa, uh, it was a slap on our face on that day. So we all had to just go back to our shell and talk to ourselves and just have to come out strong as, as champion, which we have. Um, I'm super excited because the last game was kind of, you know, but we're happy we come out stronger and stronger and we're improving better as a team. Collectively, individually, we are trying to be there. So we were so angry about our performance the last game. We were so angry and everyone was like, we need to score, we need to win. No matter what it takes, we're going for it. And you can see the spirit, everything. We're just giving up, gi giving us everything we have, the energy and everything. So that was just what we talk about. It, it was very important to us. We needed to win. We, we lost against South Africa and we weren't happy about it, so we had to win. It's a game of football. You expect anything, anytime. And that's what happened. Yeah, compared to the last game, we didn't have this kind of passes, too, like too many passes, two, three passes between us, but it was actually easy for us to get used to the ball and then the goals were just coming on its own. All right, the girls there. Rita Chikwelu, mm. Ajibade, uh, Rashida, you had uh, Francisca Odega, and Ngozi Okobi. Okobi. Uh, I mean, your thoughts uh, to, yeah, to, to their I response? Think, I think, um, well, they said it all. They obviously stepped up their game from the last time. We saw fights. You know, I think what was the back of their mind was, ah, we're not going to lose this game. Oh. Yeah. We're going to enter and be that. You know, so I, I like that spirit. And that's why it looks like it was, and with no slight on Tonus and every, I think it was the players who actually, you know, spoke to themselves and said, look, we, we can't can do, do this. this. We can certainly do it. So let's, let's just go out there. Whoever gets the goals. As he said, supplied, good, but hey, we also need her to step up and know that, look, this thing I die with you. Sure. You understand? And then we'll leave the aspect of the coach and what happens after this tournament. Because Florence and Magdalene qualified us, won, won the Nations Cup, and she still got sacked. And uh, she's someone that who communicates with Pigeon, Pigeon English. Hey, move there, wait till they have. Uh, as he said, as he said, you know, they see. You know, so I'm not, I'm not saying, well, the fact that we go to the World Cup and cannot make any headway has probably called for a foreign coach mm -hmm. to come on board. But to win the AFCON, certainly we don't need a foreign coach. Uh, but that has been done. I think that maybe Pinnick and Co. had eyes on you know, the, the World stage. Cup, the global stage. But I'm sure they got a big scare when <laughs> we lost the first game, mm -hmm. which has never, ever happened under an indigenous coach. So let's hope that Thomas Denebry gets right. through this. Anything short of winning the title is going to be a failure on his part. But I'll wait to see what's going to happen then. But I'm rooting for the girls. Right. They realized that they need to live up to their names as the uh, African champions. <laughs> okay. Well, interesting things happening. So we'll see. We'll see how far uh, the girls will be able to go. Let's go to break now. When we return, we're still going to be talking about the Super Falcons all day. All right, so go on that break. I return for more. Let's this morning.